It's a demonstration of replacing a print head on a Zebra ZQ620. The print head we'll be replacing is part number P1028757. Uh, Sydney's going to demonstrate separating the case, starting by removing the four screws in the back and the two screws that are in the top. They are stainless steel screws, so a magnetic tip will not do you any good. Did have these screws already loosened from earlier today. Once the four screws are out, separate the casing on either side and in the back to make like a clamshell effect where the machine will separate and roll out. You also want to be careful of the handle on the side to make sure it clears or else you could damage the, the printer. side has to also clear. Pry it open. Oh, I see. As you're doing the separation, you want to be mindful of the ribbon cables that are for the display and the buttons there in the front. When you initially separate it, the small ribbon cable normally just comes loose and then you have an antenna wire and a large ribbon cable on the inside. The antenna wire goes straight up so you get a flat pry tool and pop it straight up and it will separate and then the other ribbon cable will just be simply pulled apart. can be set aside. I did loosen up that sandwich. Once that's apart, you can take the screws out on either on this side to remove the the arm that pushes down. And then with the with it locked into place down at the bottom, you can gently pry on the side here to get enough space to lift this up. So if you have two hands, you can you know, pull that up out of the way. So once that's up out of the way, then you can get this unlocked. Oh, it's supposed to go down. <laughs> So you pull that, that away and then go down with it. You're pointing this right here? Mm-hmm. So now this needs to go and unlock at the same time and go up. This stays down. That'll stay down and now pry right here. spring will cause it to swing out and then that arm will slide slowly that away to line up with that pin and it just comes out of your way. Once you have that out of the way you can take the two screws for the pressure bar out, one on either side. Screw 
for the the top cover lock. And that does have a little wire spring behind it, but it does it is retained. Once that's out of the way, you can use a pair of forceps to get in to the locks on either side of the guide by simply reaching down in from the top and releasing those locks mm -hmm. on either side of the print head. Mm -hmm. I went from the top. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah, that's easier. Massage it out. Well, I guess this side with the ribbon would be the easiest. And once that's out of the way, it does have a ribbon cable that's attached to it. So it can just kind of be pushed out of the way a little bit. And then on either side of the pressure bar, there's two tabs. So if you pry that plastic apart, it will, it has spring pressure behind it and it'll push away from the print head itself. And that can be moved out of the way. Once that done, that is done, then the print head is on, it has tabs on either side that the printhead has to rotate and come up. And you'll see the directional tabs. And then it can lift out enough to get to the ribbon cables. Just to rotate back yeah. and then up. screw on a ribbon cable and once again it is not magnetic unfortunately it makes it slightly more difficult it's a washer and it has a washer on it and then you can remove the ribbon cable off the front head simply pull straight out and that's the removal of the print head <laughs> 